guys, today's big question is what to think about when drawing commissions. Um, this is quite a big deal, especially for artists that are only beginning to charge for their work. Um, what I mean when I say commissions, a lot of people actually get confused by this because I guess commissions in art is a bit different to commissions um, elsewhere. But um, commission is when a client asks the artist to draw something for them, something specific. So what I do, my commissions are, is a client will give me a photograph and say, please draw this. And then the client will obviously be more specific as to exactly um, exactly what they want in terms of size and color and what to include or exclude and things like that. Anyway, so that's what a commission is. Um, as a beginner artist, if you are going to start doing commissions, and you aren't sure as to how long things are going to take you or you're not sure um, what exactly you will be able to offer your clients. Um, usually in these beginning stages, you will charge quite a small fee um, until you get your head around exactly how long things are going to take and the confidence that you have and... Um, and things like that. So once you're very confident in what you can produce and um, you know that you have a good amount of time, you can get things done in a certain amount of time, you know what you can produce, then you can start charging people upfront payments before you even get started. So a big suggestion is charge people about 25% upfront um, before you even draw because a lot of the time people will decide in the last possible minute that they do not want to join and you've already started and spent so much time into it and you've just lost all that time. So um, make sure they give you something before you start. This also kind of helps um, anchor, anchor people in to a spot. So they're like, okay, I've paid a deposit so I'm not going to um, go out of this one because I know that deposit is non-refundable so I'm going to make sure that I wait till the end instead of cancelling at the last second. So um, charge people an upfront payment and then do the drawing and then um, charge them for the rest. Make sure before you take any payment from anybody though that they know exactly what payments they are going to make right through to the end. They know exactly how much they're going to pay for shipping and handling um, they know exactly what they're going to pay for processing. So maybe they want scans and prints and stuff like that made as well. So they need to know what they're going to pay, how much time that's going to take. And um, of course, you charge the fee that they need for your drawing or painting or whichever artwork you are doing. Um, so it's you need to be very clear as to what everything's going to cost. And... Another very important thing is you need to be absolutely clear on how long things are going to take you. Um, just an example, the way I do it, is I will book people in to a calendar. So usually I give myself about a week to do a drawing, unless it's very big and I know I need more than a week's time, then I'll book that time into more than um, a week. Anyways, so I book, I'll book a drawing in for a week and then I will tell them, once I've started this drawing, it's going to take about a month before you get it. Um, it can take up to a month after I finish the drawing before they receive it. Because international shipping can take quite some time. Um, if you are going to do things like scanning and making prints and stuff, that also takes a lot of time. So make sure that they also know... Um, how, how much time those things will take. So if someone says to you, oh, I've got a friend's birthday next week and I want a drawing and I need you to draw it and post it and everything, um, you can at least know for yourself that that is pretty much impossible for you to do, especially if it's going to go to another country. So just tell them, unfortunately, you, that's not possible. They won't, you won't be able to draw it and send it and have them receive it at the right time to be able to give the gift to the person. So... Um, make sure they book themselves into a spot, they know exactly how long things are going to take and um, exactly how much things are going to cost. So once you have that together, so you have prices, you have um, time, 
then you need to make sure you are very clear about everything else before you get started. Make sure the client knows exactly what size it's going to be. Make sure you know um, exactly what cut it's going to be. A lot of the time you have to crop the photographs that they provide. Make sure that they see the crop before you start because you don't want to end up drawing a crop that you think looks good but they don't think looks good. And then um, you have to start all over because you did not make very certain with them that that's the way that it's going to be um, be done so um, keep that in mind also once you have that then you're ready to go pretty much so that's all the things you do before the drawing make sure you know how much time it's going to take make sure they know how much it's going to cost and make sure both sides are very very clear as to every step that's going to be made so they know exactly what's going to happen then what you do once you start the drawing is you make sure you post photos to the client all the time and keep them up to date with exactly what's happening at all times so that if they aren't sure about something they can tell you there and then and you can fix it if you have to. Um, so you don't want to just give the client a photo at the end of the drawing and be like oh here you go it's finished. They need to know the exact process because um, they might decide that something isn't looking right or that they might want to add something or change something. So it's easier to do that during the progress of the drawing than to do that at the end of the drawing. So make sure you always keep in touch with the client. Um, when you are posting progress photos on your social media, make sure that you have the permission from the client to do that. Is make sure that it's not a private drawing and that they are happy for you to post it to the public. Um, also make sure that you have some sort of indication of who you are so have a logo or a name or something on the photograph that shows who the artist is so that when other people see it they can see that who the artist is and they can at least find find you um, so that's also very important but yes make sure that the the commission is not private otherwise um, you can get into some big trouble so you need permission to be able to post things so make sure you also know that up front before you post anything to the public um, so yes that's what I mean by privacy privacy means that um, if it's going to be a gift no one can see it if it is um, just private and they don't want you they don't want you to post it to the public then don't do it. But if they're happy for you to do it, then go ahead and just make sure that they know exactly where you're going to post it. So I generally say all my social media sites and my website and then also maybe on YouTube on my videos. So I post it to every place that's relevant to me and my business and um, they have access to see all those places as well. Um, and then finally once the drawing is done you can package it up and send it off and then you can give your client a tracking number and they can finally know um, when they will be receiving their drawing. So that is what to keep in mind when you are doing a commission before you go ahead and start a commission make sure you know what how much time it's going to take um, drawing time and handling and shipping time all of those things included. Make sure you get an upfront payment and that the client is very uh, understands 100% all payments that will have to happen until the end. So they need to know the full cost by the beginning, but they need to give you a deposit before you get started. Also make very sure that you guys have a very clear agreement between the two of you. Both sides knows, knows exactly what's going to happen. Um, throughout the whole process and then once you start the drawing you can post work in progress photos make sure you know about privacy can you post it on your social media sites or do you just have to keep it between you and the client and then finally shipping and handling um, is pretty much self-explanatory so I really hope that information was useful to you guys I learned a lot during the process when I started commissions and um, it is very important to make sure that that communication between you and the client is open at all times and that both sides always know exactly what's happening every step of the way. So I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Thank you. Bye.